Welcome to this project management tutorial entitled Multiple Resources for a Single Task. In the previous tutorials we have created a Gantt chart that has assigned Simon to almost all tasks and Angelina helping him with the developing of the script. In this tutorial we are going to assign multiple resources to single tasks. In particular we have still got some resources available namely Brett and Cindy who are very experienced in production boards and we have got also Frank who can help Simon. So let's go back to our project management. So we are going to remove Simon from uh, the production board development and we are going to assign Brett and Cindy to this task. Let's view the details of this task. Um, <coughs> So we see you currently there's no resource, the duration is three days and uh, let's play around with the effort driven method. So um, so if we don't use effort driven what happens? Let's uh, send Brad and uh, Cindy and say OK. So what we see immediately is uh, the duration of developing a production board is three days. Uh, however, we're signing Brett and Sydney and they both work three days because a day has eight hours. So three times eight is 24. So we have assigned 24 hours too much. That's not quite what we wanted. Um, Let's say we want to finish the project a bit earlier and we do know that this duration is actually fixed. We cannot do much about it. So the work is actually fixed. The working hours of 24 hours is fixed. And we are going to do it now effort driven. So fixed work is not effort driven. That's what we just had before. Fixed units is the one which we are looking for. So we have 24 hours of fixed units now. And we are going now to assign um, Brett to it. Say OK. Say so 24 hours. That's what we expected. Now we are going to assign Cindy to it. And say OK again and we do notice that the work has reduced to 12 hours. Notice that the duration also has reduced to one and a half days. Uh, effort driven scheduling is a little bit tricky because note if I remove the resources again I still have effort driven. Let me change that to three days again. And now, as before, but now I'm going to simultaneously put bread in Sydney, Cindy. Then what happens is I'll still get the 24 hours. That's not what we wanted. And so note, I can only do it incrementally. So I have to do one resource after the other. I have to press OK. Oops. So you, you see now. Everything is going, going upside down. Okay. And now let's uh, use another way. Let's say the three days are fixed. That's what we had in the project plan. And so we say the duration is fixed now. 
and however the workload is divided by Brad and Cindy so I'll press OK again because it only works incrementally and now add Cindy now you see we have got 12 hours assigned to both of them and still keep the three days excellent now that we have uh, sorted out the production board let's have a look at the remaining problems we've got a year problem with Simon being over allocated for holding the auditions and picking the locations in particular the whole auditions is quite something which does not fit our original plan first of all he's doing now 16 hours or in one go in addition and only 8 hours are overtime and on top of that he's doing also picking the location so we really need to sort that out so let's change the duration to 2 days again we do like the F word driven scheduling um, we like to leave keep the duration fixed let's say okay we don't want any overtime for Simon so that, that's all a little bit too much let's just remove it remove him completely actually it's a bit faster and add him again Simon press ok so now we've got the 16 hours no overtime and we want Frank to help him so we're going to add, uh, add Frank and press ok so now we see 8 hours 8 hours so they are working on the same days but only half a day each okay that's great now that did not quite resolve the, the overtime yet for uh, Simon but if we help if Frank helps Simon with picking the locations as well then the over allocation should have been sorted out so pick locations let's put it effort driven again let's fix the duration let's say ok and now let's add uh, Frank to it and let's say ok now we see four hours, four hours. So it all works out now, and we have removed the over allocation. Excellent. So we have now got our final project schedule with the whole resource allocation and what are the final project costs well we just run a report with our cash flow and see our final project costs are 872 pounds this concludes the series of uh, tutorials so what we have achieved was we developed a project plan for a film we used phases tasks and milestones in the course of it we have created a gun chart and observed all the time dependencies furthermore we allocated the resources and observed the project costs and we also monitored the progress of 
the project. I hope you enjoyed these tutorials and good luck with your project management.